Hello and welcome to the beginner guide for Age of Empires 4. Today we will cover 8 of the most important tips to improve your gameplay and to get you more wins in the multiplayer scene. Tip number 1. Counter your opponent. Almost every RTS game, also Age of Empires 4, work with the principles of rock, paper, scissors. That means that each unit is able to counter another unit. For example, horsemen are good versus archers. Archers are good against the spearmen. And spearmen are good against the horsemen. But following this principle will make you win the fights against your opponent. At least in most cases. The same principle also applies for your siege weapons. As some of them are great against the infantry. The others are good to take down the enemy structures. And some of them are even good to counter the enemy siege weapons. Tip number 2. Speed is the key to victory. Rushing to the second age is also our second tip since most factions are only able to recruit the infantry units when they are in the second age. For that reason, collecting the necessary resources to get to the second age is crucial. That means you should mainly but not exclusively focus on food and gold. But do not forget about the wood either, since wood is needed to build houses and resource buildings. Since you will need to construct a building to reach to the next age, at least with most factions, it is also recommended to use multiple villagers to build that building to get to the second age a bit faster. Tip number 3. The win condition. The villagers are your biggest win condition and for that reason, they are our most important tip. Around 70 to 80 percent of your population should be filled with your villagers, since more resources will lead you to a stronger army with better upgrades. You basically can never have enough resources, and if you think that, then you potentially have not enough production buildings. Also, the marketplace is an essential building you need to use a lot to sell food and wood for gold and gold or wood or food. I would even recommend you to build a second town center as soon as possible to be able to recruit your villagers a bit faster. You basically should never stop recruiting villagers from your town centers. Tip number four, quality over quantity. And I don't only talk about upgrading your units in the production buildings and improving their damage and armor with the upgrades you can purchase in your armory. You also should upgrade your mill your lumber camp and pretty much all the other resource buildings to improve the speed of collecting the resources. Work smart, not hard. It is also very important to build your resource buildings close to the gold mine, wood and food, since the more your villagers have to walk to bring you the resources, the more time will be wasted and optimizing your workflow is extremely important to help you to win your matches. Tip number five, let's build a wall. We need to build a wall and it has to be built quickly. Building walls is more effective than you might think. First, we need to use our scout to discover the entire map and look out for possible paths our opponent might use later on to get to our side of the map. And then we will be building walls to block these pathways. Walls are extremely hard to be taken down early on and will also give us a lot of reaction time to be prepared for the fight since we will be able to see the enemy units way before they can reach out to us. Keep in mind that you will need to collect stones not only to build the walls but also later on to build the keep and a second town center. Tip number 6. Offense is the best defense. If you decide to recruit some units from your barracks or archer range in the second age and you are looking to put some pressure on your opponent, Try to take down his villagers and do not waste your time trying to destroy his structures. With the low DPS of your tier 1 units, it is going to take you ages to destroy any of the buildings. And even if your opponent is trying to get away with the villagers, you will still stop him from collecting any more resources during the time. Tip number 7. Increase your APM. You need to always keep an eye on your idle villagers. You can find them right here. And the same attention has to be paid to the minimap, which you should also use very often as it is way faster to move your screen from one side to the other side. Also, don't forget to check how many villagers are working on each of the resources. The longer the game goes on, the more villagers are going to be forced to work on food, which is the only infinite resource in the entire game. Tip number 8. 
kite them to death. Yes, yes, we are not playing League of Legends, but also in Age of Empires 4, it is possible to kite the opening units with your archers, since the last thing what we want is to fight against any unit with our archers in the melee range. Shoot and run, keep your distance, and this way maximize your damage output. This might even buy you some time in some situations to be able to bring the reinforcements to eventually save your archers. Bonus tip, focus on one single faction. As for now, there are 8 playable factions and every faction has some specialties which makes them unique. In order to master a faction, I would recommend you to try out every single faction first and pick your most favorite out of them. And then just focus on this faction. Spam a lot of games against AI, against real players in the multiplayer scene and try to get better and better and better. The more games you play with the chosen faction, the better you will get. Practice makes perfect. And now let's talk about the very first minutes in the game. Regardless of the pick faction, you need to start with recruiting additional villagers from your town center and use the villagers you have from the start of the game to collect food. The easiest and most efficient way of collecting food early on are the animals. Remember the tip number 4, the longer your villagers have to travel to bring you the food, the more time will be wasted. At the very same time, use your scout to discover the map and bring additional animals to your town center. Now, use the very first villager coming out of your town center to build one more house, otherwise you will be soon command points capped. Unless you are playing the Mongols, which is a faction that starts with 200 command points. Remember that we will also need 200 gold to reach the second age, and for that reason let's send two of our villagers to the gold mine. During all this time you need to make sure to recruit more and more villagers from your town center and build additional houses before you are command points capped. Even though wood is not needed to reach the second age, it will be needed to build houses, mills or any other resource buildings. Because of that, we will also need to send two villagers to collect wood. Our priority is food, which is our main resource to recruit more villagers and to reach the second age. On maps with the sea, you can send more villagers to the wood and build a dock to recruit fishing ships instead. We will need around 10 villagers on the food, 3 on gold and 3 on wood and this way we will be able to collect the necessary resources to rush to the second age in no time. Remember, the second age is a huge power spike for every single faction. Thank you so much for watching. If this video was helpful then please don't forget to leave a like if you'd like to see more Age of Empires 4 content on this channel about advanced tips for each faction and some multiplayer games let me know in the comment section down below. And subscribe to not miss any of the future uploads. I will see you next time. Until then, keep it safe. And as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out. Oh, he knows what's up. He, he knows what's up, guys. Come on. Oh, he was not ready for me. He was not ready for me, guys. Oh, everybody who was betting on me, of course, will get some points now, guys. You made the right call. Let me tell you that much. <laughs> Oh, this guy is like, I'm done, you know? He's like in the fourth age. I just got to the second age. I cannot beat him.